slow to be bad with you, so. Okay. And we are, you know, K U G E A R, you know. And we're gonna be playing some the council. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know what it's about for real, so and look at this dude's look at his freaking face creation. Bro, <laughs> the animators must have been on crack making his character. I mess with the green eyes, but like, no. Mm -mm. I do not mess with it, bro. Looking like a freaking, I don't know, man, a draft or something, bro. You can look goofy. You drink. Oh, not in France. Okay. Your drink, sir. That was 1972, December 10th. And they're in Paris, France. Oh, you was not. Look at his eye. He is not looking. Oh. You can see that. You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borchert. You know. Look at her. Saying, my dear Sarah. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Listen. I don't hear nothing. nothing. Not a sound. Oh. No one's coming to save you. <laughs> That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll What's your mama? Head. Oh. You know, Louis. Okay. Okay. I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. And that will be okay, Voldemort. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borchert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Trouble? What you gonna do? <laughs> the little emo dressing oh, clothes. You will tell me Wearing black on black. I can promise you that. Dang! I think you slapped his. Host, Louis. I think you slapped the um. Son, the did what his happened mouth. to you in Rome teach you anything? Look, you can't even Just see a few it, more bro. minutes, and my concoction will be ready. He slapped the skin out of his lips, bro. This, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn language and motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Oh, say less. Bob Orchard. Bob Orchard. Mm -hmm. Bob Orchard. That's your name? Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. I want to play hero. Look at you. You, bro, you is agent 47. Yeah. From Hitman, bro. Uh, if he was Pity old. you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. You look like agent 47, bro. Can't is. Alazif. Let me do this. Trust me. Fine. Okay. Act. Trust. Okay, I'll trust. Please. Be my guest. You can always trust your mother. That's something you can learn. Oh! What's good now? Oh, yo, take the knife out of his hand, bro. Mmm! 
done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Damn. Come on, he, he let's go home. Oh, we go. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. Look like a, so much of a bozo. <clears throat> Feel the conditions. One month later. Lord Martimer's Island off the coast of Eagle Island. Even. I don't know. Uh, bro, they, you're telling me construction workers really went all the way over there to build houses. How do y'all, how do y'all get the material? Do y'all just go back and forth? Like, I don't know, like y'all, y'all get the resources. And every time y'all forget something, oh, we got to go get it back. Let's go back to the island. Let's go back to the coast. And let's go. Oh, let me say it in the British voice. Let's get back to the coast. And let's go ahead and go here, Your Majesty. And we'll build it more likely. Okay, no, let me just continue. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The Council. There goes the title episode, The Mad Ones. I'm probably not gonna make this episode too long, though. That's all I gotta say. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests. Hey, that's your mom. I thought she has this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? <laughs> we have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Mm, business. Uh, Lord business. Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, oh how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You see. Right. Yes, I, I doubt see. that you came here to look for your mother, your enemies. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Yes, sir. Turn the question back to the dish. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me. 
if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. That's what you're thinking about right now. You having a Are you right? Hey! You good, bro? <laughs> Did you have a good time last night? Oh, like, it's not a time for that. Mother? Oh, shit. You're here. Oh! So? What the freak? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother! No! Don't! Don't! Uh, what? <gasps> Have you lost your mind? Not sure. Oh, no other way. snap. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I you. No, sir. Bang. No. Don't you ever talk to me. And look at her face. She's like. She just want. She just. Oh my god. She just really just walked into that one. Her eyes, she just looks so frightened. I mean, that's the whole point of it, but you know. No. <gasps> oh. You can run if you want to, Sarah, but you will pay. <sighs> I'm confused. What's going on? You, uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? So you're dead too? I don't get what's going on. Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. Finally, we can move. What's happening to me, for God's sake? Up, left, right, down. Absolutely need to find your mother. So, let me look at the view. Wait, where did, how do we get here? Half the stuff looks stuck. Or it's just something I can't see from right there. Okay. Let's just go. Mm -hmm. It's just so peaceful. Lulu, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Mmm, skills. I'm a detective. I don't get this type of stuff. I have been I involved have in been all under. sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a Where scale you never seen them? before. Hmm. There was a cavern under the Abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, 
To stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Uh, yeah, you were shot. Not at all. How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman yeah. such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met? Uh... We was holding... We was holding hands at a... A park, right? And then I was... Then I was... Then I whispered to your ear and I said... Do you want me to... Cook up some for you? Or should I... Give you something that you would never forget. No, 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 no. I gave you. We were just holding hands at the park. We was admiring the significant places at the um, at the view. A lot of people were wondering why was they holding hands like that. And I was like, and I was like, I wouldn't. I was on my. I was on my simp energy, and I was like. A beautiful woman such as yourself deserves everything in the world. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Uh chatter up. I'll make her lose her train of thought. We can't well we can't say that. The most probable place will be pretend to be to print Emily, it hurts me that you could doubt my sincerity. I yeah. thought we'd gotten past that stage by now. Don't take it like that, Louis. I was only joking. I thought you Good. were making fun of me. I thought you were someone I could trust. I'm, I'm hurt to see that you're still at the stage of testing, Duchess. Listen, Louis, I am sorry. I really didn't want to hurt you. Forget what I just said. It was clumsy of me. If you say so. Yeah. Let's go with that, yeah, then. Right. Didn't see me. Didn't know me. Push any harder and I'll make a fool of myself. Right. Time to go to the manor. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Ooh, they always be playing games. Emily, Wait, please, excuse I my should have read that. Hold up. You still haven't answered. Oh, never mind. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Why does this remind me of Cruella the Vill, bro? But before we go over there, just look at the view. Just I can just admire some anime. Like, oh, look at the stars. I always just like, I always wanted to do some anime stuff. Like, every time I go outside, I want to do some anime stuff. Like, I literally recorded myself one time. Oh, you're yeah, right, right. I literally recorded myself outside in school. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna show y'all. Bro, I swear to God, I'm about to be on some anime stuff right now, bro. Like, like the air, bro. I just wanna, like, someone just take a picture of me, take a video of me. On the video. But, um, it was just, I was just chilling outside, talking about doing some anime stuff, just looking in the sky. I was just an anime scenario. It's just a good view. Yeah. All right, let's go. I hate when these people just walk so slow. I understand you're gonna you're in a very important business meeting, Good. but just Sir, walk faster. May I ask your name, please, Louis Morin? My de name is Monsieur the... de Richet. Delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah Wait. de Richet's son. I must tell you we are What's doing all mad, to find your mother as quickly as possible. 
I could have sworn you ain't have it earlier. I could have sworn you did not have that. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since her mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But sir, mm. may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island, and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Uh, I can't say Did that. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. Mm -hmm. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. Mother. Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon That's as I see him. Name. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the war for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Kindly Pass me give the it to handkerchief. Me. But, but, sir, my orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing yeah, to give your mother's now. personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but, sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to you? Ooh, this is ah, my boy ready for the smoke. Sir, please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. Thank you, good sir. It is indeed your handkerchief. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Can run faster? Okay. I'm gonna end it off right here. But I, okay. There's no way I'm leaving without. Okay, we're gonna end it here. <laughs> I'm glad y'all enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in this video. Join the spirit tech, do spirit gun. You already know. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.